it's just a wonderful place to be because it's clean, safe and secure and the staff are angelic no matter who they get. And of course all this comes from top level. The thing that I notice so much is that um, you know, it doesn't matter what time of the day it is, the staff are always there for you. I wouldn't want to go anywhere else but here because the service and the people are so wonderful. So we've had a wonderful life and then we came here never expecting that we'd get the service and the care that we get. And the love, we get a lot of love. The kids come up and cuddle us and I cuddle back. <laughs>to play to me represents being nourished. Mark and I are very keen about life is to be celebrated so having the paddock to play in an aged care environment is showing us that we're celebrating life, we're taking joy out of it, bringing a holistic side to life like having good health, good food.
Congratulations to Mark Moore and A Little Bay Australia. Well, Yvette and I pride ourselves on being leaders in aged care in every facet of, of, of care. That's design, that's interiors, and most importantly, it's care, including behavioural management, which is, which is a very complex aged care area. But to get that right, it's such a huge recognition of our organisation. We were finalists in three areas of dementia care, behavioural care. We were finalists in leadership in aged care, and we are also finalists in the leading uh, best aged care facility in the world and so by the time I got to it I thought look we had a chance and then just actually to pull it off again is, is a huge recognition of, of what we're doing but also of what we're achieving in Australia and what we're achieving in Asia. We're doing everything outside the box and the people who are, who are getting the benefit of that is our residents. We, when we came here the, the residents were saying we don't care whether you win or not you're the best and just to get that feedback, I mean, that really makes you feel good. I mean, this, that's as good as this, really. Now a story of hope for the thousands of families afflicted by Alzheimer's. A treatment program developed here in Australia is achieving remarkable results, even helping some sufferers speak for the first time in years. The transformations that take place are phenomenal. Executive Director Mark Moran says activities which tap into residents' former lives can provide the key to unlocking memory. The transformations uh, are, you know, close to being miraculous. Their successful dementia program helped the Home win Facility of the Year at an international award ceremony last week. There are real changes in the treatment of people living with dementia in nursing homes and it's around person-centred care. John Watkins from Alzheimer's Australia, New South Wales, says while dementia can't be reversed, programs like Little Bays are bringing joy back to families. I don't believe you'd get better service no, than what you get here. you couldn't, love. I don't think you could. No. <laughs> love me? Yeah, love her with all my heart.